and welcome to this video. This one was pretty big. I think it's it's coming in H380 from Singapore Airlines later. It will be even bigger. It's uh, like 6.30 a.m. I slept two hours, so there is no reason I'm awake right now. Oh, here comes another one. Look at this. It's also amazing. It should be an A332. Look at this. So I just changed the angle a bit. Maybe the, the plane is like here or so now. But I am too small for the camera setup now. It's been a while since I, I did a video tutorial. So today we together are going to do a cheap shot. Photoshop composition. God damn, it's pretty hard to make a video when every minute comes another plane and this this is new A380 or is it 3 A330? No, it's a smaller one. It, it's pretty small. And there is a bigger one up there, like Well, like I said, let's create a composition that is like like a mountain range, people walking through it, then having a look at the earthscape from like like the ISS, International Space Station, and then also blend in the moon. It's pretty simple, it's pretty beginner tutorial for Photoshop, but let's tune in. So, hi and welcome to my computer. Like I said, we're going to create this shot here with the woman walking the path, the earth in the background, and then also the moon. All we need is the, you have to file in the description, go there and click on the link and download them. So let's open all the image we need. These are those four files. Open them. And then let's get started. First, take the quick selection tool and just mark this area here so we can cut out the sky i use here like a brush of 18 pixels you can take it a little bit bigger then you're a little bit faster that's okay now we go to select select and mask and now we just make sure that we all those those edges or really like the way we want it to have when this is done check that the output to a new layer and click OK and so here we are sky is gone what we do now is we are gonna make this picture a little bit brighter like so enter and now we are going to the rectangular marker tool and just mark it like here a little bit from this space and now you're going to fill this space with content aware right click and select fill content aware color adaption opacity 100% click OK and what Photoshop is now doing is it copies the whole mountain so now we have like a rectangular mountain here that doesn't fit so let's go to the brush tool and yeah that's that's pretty okay take a radius of about 110 pixel and then make sure it is here the mode is clear check if the right layer is selected and then just go here and like Drag it a little bit so it looks a little bit natural. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty it for the first step. Now we go to the... What is this tool? Crop tool, crop tool. And make it again a little bit higher. Like this way. So we see we have now a real portrait photo. Make it just a little bit bigger. We don't want it to be that that size, we want it to be like this is in the middle. So what we are going to do is select it again and just bring this part of the image up. Boom! And what the next thing is, I was wrong with, we are finished. 
we are going to see this see this people here this 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 person this jogger runner wanderer whatever he is annoying we don't want him we don't we want this this woman here in the picture and not him so go to the lasso tool and just drag around the man here or maybe it's a woman who knows and then again click right fill content aware and boom he is away and it looks a little bit weird it's not that professional but hey look it's do you notice it or do you think any of your Instagram viewers will notice this no so and to be honest we are almost ready it's not really a hard thing I think the, the most important the, the hardest part is done now so now we go to this woman just grab her and go to this unsplash and just bring her into the frame so right now at the moment she's maybe a little bit too big she should stand like here but that I think is maybe a little bit too close I want to have her here oh and actually this is my girlfriend it's not just a strange woman press ctrl or command if you are on a Mac T and shift and grab this edge here and make her a little bit smaller mm, that's pretty the way I want to have her yeah like here that's that looks like real so and what we are going to do now is we grab not the moon we grab those earthscape convert to normal layer and then bring it back to this image here pretty good I want to have it like fixed here so Ctrl T or Common T make it smaller so it fits in and what we are doing now is we just drag this layer down maybe you can rename it like earth and bring it to a good position like here that's that's okay and now you see maybe the moon has no space here but let's bring it in go to the moon grab this convert to normal layer and bring it to this image too so and now we have like this transparent spot here we are doing the same again rectangle remark tool just grab it here and press fill with content award there is a shortcut but I'm not used to it right now so I know why you know this case in nice that boy I know why he wears glasses so I, I don't look like sick anymore look look at this wow cool like the ace really thing like that was a dreamliner Whew! back here all the planes are done I hope we won't get disturbed anymore or not we me so you see the moon is not here so we grab the crop tool again and just make it a little bit bigger like this press enter and now it makes sense that we also fill this space with like content were black and then when this is done we grab this layer again and bring the moon layer let's rename it let's name it moon just drag it beneath the earth and now bring it a little bit up and what we're going to do now is just a little bit of a correction of the, the colors so we click on the earth layer click here on the brush tool select mode normal and flow like boom yeah like like go with 50 because maybe we have here like a proper line and we will don't want to have that so 
So let's click here and take a like soft brush. Make this a little bit bigger. Like we go to 500 pixel, a little bit more. Oh, that's too much. Let's take that 1000 pixel. Then make sure that you have here selected the black color. If, it, if you don't have the black color, click here and select here the, the black, the real black. And then we just draw over this area a little bit. That was not correct. So, what we have done was a bad move. It was not bad, but we can correct this with... Let's choose here clear and then just drag over this area again a little bit. And then we maybe bring the moon a little bit down, not the earth, the moon. Like to here. Yeah, looks pretty amazing. And now just bring it a little bit down here. Oh, need to move this a little bit to the left, or just let's let's fill this thing here with fill and content aware. Doesn't work, so let's make it a little bit smaller here to the left. No one noticed this. Wrong, wrong layer. Click on moon layer again, to the right, to the left. Oh my gosh. Still not, let's make it this way. And fill with content aware. So now it's big enough. Now I can drag it to the position we want it to have, like here. And yes, zoom out. And here we are. I think this here is an image error, uh, like a screen error. Yeah, it is a screen error. Yeah, and that is pretty it for the moment. What we additionally can do is now to make this thing a little bit darker. Just bring out the brightness, click here on the brightness, add brightness and contrast layer. Maybe bring down the brightness a little bit or the contrast a little bit more up. So we have like a darker foreground. Then select those two layers, right click and convert to smart object. Yes, and look at this. Finally, looks almost like this one, but this one is color corrected and this one was just created. So now it's on your go into Lightroom and edit this shot. So hey, thank you so much for watching this video. And hey, I have another one for you. Look at this. See? The red one here. And this time we won't, we won't fail because we will film it with this camera and the 55mm zooms. <music>